Hey guys, this is Modem Machines here. We have our Honda NC700X out today. This is the bike that we outfit with all of the accessories that we uh, that we carry. And today we're going to be installing a Scorpion slip-on exhaust to replace the stock uh, muffler on here. Basically, the Scorpion slip-on will give us a little bit more power, much better sound, a little bit less weight, and better looks. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is the box that your Scorpion slip-on will come in. And then for this particular slip-on, uh, for the NC700X, you get the muffler or the canister itself. It's a stainless steel version, hexagonal shape, uh, has red accents on it. And then what you need to fit it to the bike, which is a link pipe, some hardware uh, clamps and a small bracket, and then of course the instructions. Alright, so dis disassembly of the stock system is very simple. All you need is a 12mm wrench and a 12mm socket on a ratchet. Uh, first we start up top here at the top mount. There's a nut on the back that will come off. The bolt comes out of the rubber grommet, and then the other mount that we have to undo is the bottom clamp here, same 12 millimeter socket. Okay, with the clamp loose, you should be able to just slide the stock system off. The center stand will get in the way a little bit, but it comes off just like that. Okay, so I did some pre-assembly. Uh, all you need to do is attach the link pipe to the muffler with the two springs that are supplied. Uh, you'll want to use pliers uh, to stretch them on, you know, safely, and uh, then just have the clamp ready to go uh, for the attachment. Also, if you have a center stand, you want to attach the included bump stop for that so it doesn't uh, rattle over bumps and things like that. If you don't have a center stand, don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to take this assembled exhaust, slip it on to the stock exhaust that's on there. You have to get the center stand out of the way a little bit. It should slide right on. And then what I'll do is just tighten the clamp just a little bit. Position the nut to where it's out of the way a little bit so you don't see it on the bike. And then I'll get the supplied bracket and attach it. You want to use the short screw with the captured washer up here at the top. And then on the back you'll want to use a washer and the lock nut. And then for the other attachment through the rubber grommet, you want to use the longer screw with the captured washer. And on the back, it's the same washer and nut.
And that's basically it. What I'll do next is tighten the upper bracket here so it aligns the exhaust. And then I'll tighten the bottom clamp. watching. We just took it out for a test ride. It sounds really good. It seems like there's a little bit more torque in the lower end. Overall, it's a very nice product, very easy install. Um, it's lighter. Uh, it looks better on the bike. We rode around with the DB Killer out because we thought it sounded quite a bit better. Um, but if you want to put the DB Killer back in for longer rides, that's, that's a good option so you, it's not too loud. Uh, over the long trip um, but overall very nice product from Scorpion you can find this product and information about it in the description along with our website information uh, go ahead and check that out like subscribe uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you next time